Hi everyone, my name is Cass and I collect and today I'm gonna do a very very special video Excuse my voice by the way. I am a little bit sick. I am feeling all right, but <coughs> Just coughing now and then. Today I'm gonna do a review of the Skultimate Secret dolls. I'm probably gonna separate this in a couple of videos because I don't wanna review all of them in one because that's gonna take way too long. I went to Belgium with my dad and we went to Dreamland and that's where I found all of them. Here they all are. Damn, this is heavy. <laughs> If you want to check out the video on how I got them and just the whole fun little journey, check out the vlog. I will link it in my description. It's a really fun video and my dad is super sweet in it, so definitely check it out. And today I'm gonna do Draculaura, so let's get started. Let's start with a box. On the left side you can see Draculaura's artwork. It says 125 plus looks and it says Draculaura. And in the little lock symbol, it says color reveal technology. In the middle, it says monster high in holographic letters with the monster high skelet. And it says Skultimate secrets in rainbow fading letters. It says 19 plus surprises. You can see a couple of Draculaurus items and posable doll inside. Doll and fashion pieces included contains 17 parts. Then it says warning choking hazard small parts not for children under three years. It says four plus and Mattel. On the back you can see the other goals that come in this line and it says monsterhide.com in rainbow letters. Water toys sometimes get messy, protect place surfaces before use, drain, rinse, clean and dry all items thoroughly before storing. Dissolvable parts may stain fabrics and other surfaces. Avoid contact with carpet, clothing, walls and furniture. If staining occurs, rinse with soap, not included, and warm water. And then it has a couple of other warnings. Since this doll contains color changing technology. It says Mattel empowering the next generation through play in the left. And it says recycled packaging made from recycled material. And then some other warnings that you cannot play with this doll if you're under three years. The right side has these cardboard pieces keeping it together and the left side has these two plastic pieces. Now let's open her up. Once you remove the plastic and cardboard this is what you'll see. This doll basically comes with a playset which is a black coffin closet. The left side is the door and it has pink spiderweb details with the monster high skelet in the middle and the right side has all these locker parts. The top one is a light pink and you can see some spider webs and spiders, glitters and a star. The bright pink one has the monster high logo and you can see some more spider webs and glitters. Then this gray blue one has a crystal ball with some stars and glitters around it and even a moon and the gray lilac one has spider web again. All the locker parts are in a different shape and different size and the back is completely black it has a spider web and in the middle there's this monster eye skelet. Now let's open the door to see Draculaura. Once you open it you can see Draculaura inside and you can see the inside of her locker door. It says Vamp Life and you can see a Polaroid picture of her, Claudine and Frankie and it says Best Boost Forever. It has Draculaura's hands shaped in a heart. It says Draculaura and then there's this little this or that with her pretzel. And you can see all the options that she chose. Then there are some vampire lips in pink and black, some pink bats. And you can see Draculaura's hand and probably Claw's hand holding a golden dance trophy. Underneath another Polaroid picture with Draculaura and Torlai in their fear leading outfits. And in the Polaroid picture of Count Fabulous. Underneath you can see her birthday with her sweet 1600 cake. And her birthday is still the same as her original birthday which is on Valentine's Day the 14th of February. Now let's take her out of the box and see what she comes with. Once you take the doll out of the box, you can see the background that she's displayed in. You can see this coffin shaped mirror with some makeup around it. And it almost looks like she's backstage in a theater. Once you take Draculaura out of the box, you can see a black monster eye skelet key being revealed and also some instructions. It shows all the things that this doll and playset come with and that you can actually hang this playset on the wall. It has a lot of warnings again about the color changing element. And basically the same information in a few other languages. Then on the back it shows you exactly what you need to do. So let's try it. I'm gonna do the color changing feature first and open up all the little lockers and then do a more detailed review of everything she comes with and of course show you the outfits. So let me grab some water and let's get started. And if you lose the key or don't want to use the key you can always use the handle on the side to open up the lockers. The first key we got is this bright pink one, so let's open the bright pink locker. 
Once you open it, you can see this little bag being revealed with some bat winged hearts and some question marks. Once it's open, there's this plastic light pink Monster High beret in it. It has a spider web on top and a little bow in the front with a white heart. And the bow is in the shape of these bat wings. It also reveals this white necklace with some pearls and a bat and a little spider web underneath. It also reveals these lavender earrings, they have a monster eye skelet on the top, and a heart with bat wings and a spider web in the middle. And it also comes with another key, so let's do another color reveal. We got the lavender key, so let's open it. Once you open it up, it reveals the same type of bag again, and this time we get this black monster high skelet key holder where we can put all the keys on that we got so far. And we also got the second pair of shoes. They are pink with lacy straps in the front. The sides have these hard belt buckles. The noses of the shoes have these bats. The heels are black and have a bow on the side. And the heel has this spiderweb heart in the back. And also a cutout heart in the bottom of the heel. And the bottom of the shoe has this spiderweb heart. And it comes with another key, so let's do another color reveal. We got the light pink key, so let's open the light pink locker. The water is turning really black. <laughs> let's open it up. This locker revealed some of the other clothing. We got this black skirt with upside down hearts and this lavender bow in the middle. This bright pink poofy sleeved jacket. It kind of has this fake latex in the front and it's ruffled. And the sleeves are ruffled with black material as well. She also comes with this little tank top with gray details and hearts in the back and also some dark gray bats. It has white lace on the top and black trimming around the sleeves. And it comes with the last key that is already revealed in color and it is the light lavender one. So let's open the last locker. The last locker reveals some food items. We got this box of cookies. It is pink, has the old Monster High Draculaura Skelet. And you can see the cookies are shaped in bats and cats. She also comes with this lavender purple drink. The top is clear and has a straw sticking out. The front has this heart with fangs and around it, it is black with some hearts with bat wings. And this looks like boba. She can hold it and you can open up the top. She also comes with a bag of candy. I think these are lollipops. They are heart shaped and in purple and pink and it looks like they're dripping. There is a heart with fangs again, a little spider hanging from the side and the bag does not have an ingredient list. And now we can hang all the keys from the keychain. Let's talk about the doll. Draculaura has this light bright pink hair on top, black bangs that are pointed in the middle and the back of her hair is black. Her eyeshadow is purple on the top and pink on the bottom and she has bright pink lips with a black heart underneath her left eye. She comes with this black top that has some hearts over it and a light pink and a darker pink bow in the middle. She comes with this fake latex type shorts. It has this white lace detail. You can see some bats, some hearts and dots and the bottom has these white fake latex ruffles. She comes with black shoes that have these laces all the way going up with four pink hearts in the middle. The sides have these bat wings and the bottom of her shoes are turquoise with bats and hearts over it. And underneath her shoe, there's this spider web pattern. Now that we've opened all the surprises, let's see what outfits we can make with all the things that we got. First, I wanna create the outfit that is on the box art. Here is the outfit that is on the box art and all the pieces that she's wearing. Then here's the matching outfit for the black outfit with the hearts on it and the matching outfit for the latex pieces. And then this is how I would style her. Now, my opinion. Let's talk about the color changing features first. To be honest, I'm usually not a big fan of this because, you know, it's not really something I look for when I collect a doll. But I do have to say this was kind of really fun to do. And the color changing was actually pretty easy. I thought it would take way longer or way more effort, but it was actually kind of nice. And it's also nice to take a little bit of patience before you instantly unbox everything so I like the surprises and that you can slowly see what this doll comes with. Also I love the fact that you can hang this playset on the wall. That is epic. That is something I have looked for in Monster High in forever because I'm losing space on my shelves and to hang things on the wall just saves space and 
it's gonna look really cool. For this particular Draculaura, I really like all the things she comes with. Not a massive fan of the jacket because the silhouette is not really my favorite, but it does look cute on her. I like the lavender touches too. I think it suits her very well and it really matches her eyes and her makeup. I think that's super cute. It gives you a lot of styling opportunity and I really like the matching sets, especially the black one. I think it's adorable. Kind of gives me a French vibe too with the beret. And of course, the food accessories. As you all know, that is one of my favorite things. I think it's so cute. Unfortunately, this time, the candy and the cookies did not have a fake ingredient list on the back, which is kind of a missed opportunity. I feel like they could have done that. I do feel like the necklace is missing a little bit of detail. It could have used some paint. And of course, since this is a surprise toy, you can't see the face. Now, I was lucky I got a really good looking one. I think for Gen 3 in general, wonky ones aren't really a thing, or at least not as much as Gen 1. So I'm not too worried about that. But you know, since you can't see her face, you can't see if there's any chips in the paint or anything. I like the keychain that it comes with because now you can save the keys or maybe even use it as your own keychain because it's a pretty sturdy plastic so that's really nice. So yeah, overall I'm pretty positive about this one so far. I can't wait to see more of the Skultimate Secrets and I can't wait to unbox the other ones so stay tuned for that on my channel. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope everyone likes it and I see you guys in my next video. Bye! Monster, monster, I might give you a fright.